There's something so sad about Scandinavia. It's like this ideal part of the world, but it is just so black. It's just so fucking sad. It's, it's Satanavia, you know. And that's why I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of the blues, and then I'm a big fan of, of the Scandinavian pain. It's like, a, it's really, the work is really a homage of something I really like. This piece, I was just looking for a place to, to have a work, and then I just saw this barn, and just like, ding, I imagined this pink neon sign. Because there's a pink neon sign in Reykjavik which says Hotel Holt, it's my favorite neon sign. And just like, imagine like this, exactly the same color, just Scandinavian pain on, on the top of that barn. Because that barn, it's situated in moss, you know, it's, it's really like Edvard Munk land. It's like a field and trees. It's like everything about that barn was kind of Edvard Munk. This kind of Scandinavian melancholia. He's like the Elvis of Scandinavian pain. He is the king of, of the pain. So it's just a shrine to the king. And then we're going to go to the Yeah. 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 My art is play in a way. I sink into things and almost feel like play in them. I'm raised in the theater and I really like these, you know, in, in brackets, fake emotions because you. You somehow you take what's here and you lift it up and create something out of it. So uh, yeah, I've almost, I feel like an actor artist or a theater artist. With the monks in here, there are all these monks that have this like Aah! mega angst feeling, which is so banal that it becomes intellectual. I find that intriguing. All this like pain and abyss and death and sexual frustration of course, it's, it's funny. It's maybe emphasizing a little bit the humor in, in the Edward Munch works, but you know, you cannot make fun of him. It's impossible. Like, who am I, a little fly, to make fun of the king, you know? If I get involved in something, it's always out of total respect and love. I never mock stuff, really. I just really love it. And I also think it's hysterically funny at the same time. It's like Appa, and it's black metal, and it's Lars von Trier, and it's all this. And that's another big, big Scandinavian pain icon, that's Appa, creating all those jolly pop songs out of this hardcore melancholy. And The Winner Takes It All is like the most hardcore song. Just, you know, written, written for Agneta when, you know, like Benny wrote it for Agneta. It's like how she sees him as they are divorcing. It's like, it's like, tell me, does she kiss the way I used to kiss you? Does it feel the same when she calls your name? It's really hardcore. And it's like these kind of monk jealousy paintings. The winner takes it all. I just really like making music. But for some reason it became like more natural for me to make music as visual art. I always felt I was like so much faking it when I was, you know, writing songs and playing them with my bands. I was like a really a poser. And for some reason I find it more natural to be a poser in, <laughs> in the visual art context. And you can do everything. But like when you have a band, you have to have, you know, to find your sound or something. Boring as that. I don't want to talk about the things we've been through, though it's hurting me. Now it's history. I played all my cards, and that's what you've done too. Nothing more to say, no more ace to play. When it takes it all, the loose is standing small. When you take something and make it so big, it becomes like always this question mark, you know, what does it mean? And I never know what it means, you know. I have like all kinds of interpretations, but it's just, you know, it, it creates, it creates, yeah, it creates the pause and just to like, it's almost taking a specimen out and putting it in a microscope. Also when you like 
makes something so much out of something, it becomes like nihilism, it becomes like nothing. You know, I really like that too. So you take a feeling and, and make it so big that it becomes nothing. And nothing is, of course, the most interesting. You see, the winner takes it all. The winner takes it all. The winner takes it all. The winner takes it all.